Here's an example of a video clip that I might want to do some trimming on. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you so you can kind of see the content that's here. It's some guys skateboarding. And there's some good stuff. And there's more good stuff. But there's actually times when not a whole lot's happening. And this sort of boring stuff is something that you want to trim out. So let's see how we do that inside the Favorite Moments feature. With a video clip selected in my timeline, I come down here to the Tools menu. Right down here in the bottom is our Tools menu. Click that, and in the list is Favorite Moments. Just go ahead and click on Favorite Moments, and a new interface comes up. There's some instructions over here on the right to help remind you how to do it, but it's actually pretty simple. All I need to do is start playing my video by clicking on the play icon right here in the center. And then every time something interesting happens, I click on mark moment. And that'll start marking my moment. And then once the interesting thing is done, I click it again to stop marking my moment. So let's see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and start playing my video. Come down here, hover over the mark moment button. And when something happens, I click to start and click to stop. Click to start, click to stop, wait for it, click to start, because I know it's about to happen, he's going to fall, and stop. And then in this time, when things are kind of boring, I'll just leave it off. These are not my favorite moments, so I don't want to mark that. And I'll just watch my video until something interesting happens. And then when it does, I'll start marking my moments again. So that's interesting. That's interesting. I could have captured that. This is kind of boring. This is kind of boring. That was interesting. That's interesting. And maybe one more. That's interesting. Okay, so I think you get the idea. I can stop playing my video. And then what I can also do, if I move my current time indicator, that's this vertical red line with a little blue triangle at the top, wherever I drag that on my timeline, you can see in my monitor up top is where I see what's underneath my current time indicator. And as I go over any of my uh, favorite moments, uh, I can see them up above. But what I can also do is simply grab the edge right here, this little edge of my favorite moment. As I click on that and drag it, I can fine tune it to get very precisely where I want it. So for this one, I want it to end kind of as he leaves the scene. I want it to start maybe right here when he enters the scene. So right about there. So I've fine-tuned where that favorite moment is. And I can do that with all of them. So this one over here where the guy fell down, I can fine-tune the exact end of my favorite moment. I don't want this guy. I want him kind of laying on the ground. And I can even fine-tune exactly where it starts. I don't want boringness with nothing on the skateboard ramp. I want it to start right there when he comes into the scene. And so I can go through each of my favorite moments, do this fine trimming, and get them exactly as I want them. So I'm not going to do all of them. You can play around with that. But the whole idea is that you can go through your clip, mark your favorite moments, do a little bit of fine tuning to get them set perfectly, and it's as easy as that. Then you can just hit Done, and Premiere Elements will automatically keep the good stuff and trim out the bad stuff. Now, the very first time you use the feature, you're going to see this dialog box here. There's a couple options. Place moments as a combined clip on the timeline, or places individual clips on the timeline. The default is probably what you want to keep. You want to place your moments as a combined clip on the timeline. But if for some reason you wanted to change that, you can change it right away, or you could always go to favorites and change this option. The difference is when all of the bad stuff is trimmed out, we'll either end up with a single clip of just the good stuff, or if I change the option, I'm going to end up with a bunch of individual clips of each of my favorite moments. I'm going to leave Place Moments as Combined Clip on Timeline and hit OK. And now you can see Premiere Elements has automatically trimmed down that really long video. It used to take up my entire timeline. And now it's much shorter. And if I press Play, you can watch in the monitor there. All I have is my favorite moments. We've also put a nice transition between the favorite moments so it looks good. I didn't have to do a lot of editing myself. I've got a video that's really interesting, just the good stuff and none of the bad stuff. Now that choice that we had earlier to either place them as a single clip, you can see this is a single clip. Let me zoom in my timeline a little bit. 
Here we go. So they all of my favorite moments are combined into a single clip. But if for some reason I wanted to do some further editing, if I right click on that and I select break apart moments, this choice right here, break apart moments, what that's going to do is change my choice just for this clip, change my choice and break all of those favorite moments up into individual segments. And then I can do things like rearrange them. If I wanted this one earlier, I could drag it near the beginning and insert it. If I wanted this one near the end, I can put it near the end. I can do all of that individual video editing that I might want to do to create the movie that I really want, independent of what order I took all these clips in. So again, now I'm just going to drag my current time indicator all the way to the front of my video. And one final play so you can see the end results. I've got all the clips in the right order, all my favorite moments, nice transitions between them. And I didn't have to spend a lot of time trimming. I let the power of Premiere Elements do it for me.